Welcome to this tutorial where we'll be looking at the relationship between logarithmic and power equations. Now you need to be comfortable converting from equations with powers to equations with logarithms and vice versa. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this using a very nice and neat trick called the anti-clockwise trick. Okay, so here we have an equation 5 squared is equal to 25. And to use this trick, the first thing you have to do is recognize that the value that's being raised to a power is always seen as the base of the log. And we always start with the base, okay? So in this case, the base is 5. So starting with 5, we go anti-clockwise to the next number, which is 25. And then we keep going anti-clockwise to the next number, which is 2. So how does that correlate to a log equation? So using this trick and starting with a base of five, we have the log base five of 25, because that's the next number we go to when we go anti-clockwise, is equal to two, okay? So here, all you have to remember is that the format for a logarithmic equation is that you have log in the base of a value of a value is equal to another value okay so let's have a look at another example here we have 8 cubed is equal to 512 so the base in this case is 8 so going anti-clockwise we get log base 8 the first value of 512 is equal to 3 the last value for the next example, we have 64 raised to the power of a half is equal to 8. So here the base is going to be 64. And going anti-clockwise, we get that log base 64 of 8 is equal to a half. So I hope you see the pattern here and how simple it is to convert between an equation with a power to equation with logs easily using this trick. So next, we're going to use the same method to find the equivalent equation with a power from a logarithmic equation. So here we have a log equation, log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So using exactly the same method where we start with a base and we go anti-clockwise, the equivalent power equation would be 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Okay. So this would be equivalent to this equation. Let's look at the next example. Log base 81 of 9 is equal to a half. So again, using the anti-clockwise trick where the base is 81, the equivalent power equation is 81 raised to the half is equal to 9, as we have here. And for the last example, we have log base 5 of 0 0.2 is equal to negative 1. So starting with 5 and going anti-clockwise, we get that 5 raised to the negative 1 is equal to 0 0.2, as we have here. So this anti-clockwise trick is very useful for quickly converting between log and power equations. But more importantly, the relationship between log and power equations helps us to solve other problems. And the next problem we're going to look at is solving logarithmic equations using this relationship. So in this question, we've been asked to find the value of x for which log base 3 of x is equal to 4. We can solve this equation by expressing this as a power equation. And so in order to do this, we can use the anti-clockwise trick. Starting with the base of 3 and going anti-clockwise, we get that this equation is equivalent to 3 to the power of 4 is equal to x. And as 3 to the power of 4 is equal to 81, it follows that x is equal to 81. Let's have a look at another example. So in order to solve this equation, log base 2 of x minus 3 is equal to 5, we can again use the anti-clockwise trick where the base is 2 here and we go anti-clockwise. Therefore, this is equivalent to 2 to the power of 5 is equal 
to x minus 3. So assuming that the value of the log that we're taking is positive, just note that it doesn't actually matter what the expression is here. The relationship that we've seen between the log equation and the power equation will still be exactly the same. Now 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 and therefore 32 is equal to x minus 3 and if we add 3 to both sides of the equation we get that x is equal to 35. Let's look at the next example. So here we have log base 5 of x over 5 is equal to minus 1. So using the anti-clockwise trick this is equivalent to 5 raised to the power of negative 1 is equal to x over 5. 5 raised to the negative 1 is equal to 1 over 5 and therefore 1 over 5 is equal to x over 5 and if we multiply both sides of the equation by 5 we get that x is equal to 1 which solves the equation. For the last part of the tutorial we're going to use the relationship between power and log equations to evaluate logarithms without a calculator. So let's have a look at the first one which asks us to evaluate the following logarithm without a calculator and the logarithm we're given is log base 3 of 27. Now currently we don't know this so we can let this log be equal to some unknown value to be found say x and now we have a logarithmic equation and we can now convert this into a power equation using the anti-clockwise trick where we have 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 27. And now that we have the power equation, all we have to do to find x is ask yourself, what value does x need to be in order to satisfy this equation? Well, 3 to the power of what value would give us 27? You should know that 3 cubed gives you 27. So therefore, x is equal to 3. And since we said that our value, log base 3 of 27 is equal to x, log base 3 of 27 is equal to 3 and you can verify this by checking in your calculator. Let's have a look at the next one. So here we have log base 125 of 5. Okay so if we let this value be equal to x so then we have a log equation that we can convert to a power equation using the anti-clockwise trick. So starting with the base of 125 we're going to get 125 raised to the power of x is equal to 5. Okay, now in order to find the value of x in this case, we need to think a bit more about indices here. What number does x need to be to satisfy this equation? Well, if we're raising a value to a power and it becomes smaller, then that should immediately indicate that the power is either a fractional power or a negative power. Okay, but looking at these numbers, we know that the cube root of 125 is equal to 5, and therefore x is equal to a third. Let's look at the next question. We need to evaluate log base 8 of 1 over 8. So if we let this value be equal to x, using the anti clockwise trick, we get that therefore 8 raised to the power of x is equal to 1 over 8. In order to find x, well, in this case, if x is equal to negative 1, we get 8 raised to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 1 over 8, and therefore x is equal to negative 1. And for the last example, we need to evaluate log base q of q. Okay, so using the same method to evaluate this log, we're going to let this log be equal to x. And we're going to convert this into a power equation using the anti-clockwise trick. And therefore, q to the power of x is equal to q. The value that satisfies this equation, well, q raised to the power of something being equal to itself, well, that something has to be equal to 1. And therefore, x is equal to 1. This example was used to show you that when you have the log base, a value of the same value, in any case, the whole log is always going to be equal to 1. So the same would apply if we had log base a of a or log base 13 of 13 and so on. Okay.
So this is another exercise which shows the use of the relationship between log equations and power equations, but it's also a very good exercise which tests your indices, as we saw in some of these examples. In the exam, you will not be asked to evaluate logs without a calculator, because you can just do it in your calculator, right? But the point of this exercise is to highlight rules such as this one that we saw here, where you wouldn't be able to use your calculator because of the algebraic terms and something like this could well be called upon in your exam. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.